Tim, a lot of people I think are going to be at those spray pads today. Yeah, it seems like a reasonable decision to keep them open. I mean, we're going to be going up to our warmest temperatures. Well, we got we got up to over 90 yesterday, but in general, these are our warmest temperatures in over a month in August. Our highest temperature was 84, so definitely feeling more July-like. Ironically, now we're talking about back to school and we're getting our warmest temperatures of the season, but Mother Nature doesn't always cooperate with the calendar, and this week explains that. 85 degrees currently in Glens Falls at our Fryhofer Skycam, already up to 87 in Saratoga, 83 in Glens Falls, 86 in Albany. So yes, definitely the spray pads were a good choice to keep them open this week. 86 North Creek and 84 degrees is your current temperature in Lake Pleasant. That's what the actual thermometer is reading, but with dew points that are in the low 70s, a really tropical like air mass, it feels warmer than that on the body, feeling like this afternoon between 95 and 100. And tomorrow, same type of story in that 95 to 100 degree range. So we have a heat advisory today and probably going to have another one during the afternoon tomorrow. Heat advisory is in effect for the Mohawk and Hudson Valleys. This is basically just because the definition is the heat indice has to be over 95 for there to be a heat advisory, but the whole entire area is gonna be feeling very hot. So no matter where you are across the region, you want to make sure that you're mindful of your body and stay hydrated and take it a little bit slower these next few days because again dew points are going to be really sticky coupled with really warm temperatures feeling super hot out there and even though temperatures are going to start to cool down by the end of the week and especially towards the weekend i think it's going to remain quite muggy into really early next week and then eventually we get back to more refreshing air this is a big heat dome it's stretching from the northeast back into parts of the Midwest and the South and the Southeast right now. Now yesterday they were in the 90s in Minneapolis. Much cooler air is starting to invade over parts of the upper Midwest, but it's going to really take its time to get into our area. What's happening is there's a cold front and it's going to slowly be tra tra traversing the eastern half of the country. If anything, it's going to stall. That's why it's going to take us some time for us to get more refreshing air in place. Wanted to take a look at Tropical Storm Lee, about to actually be Hurricane Lee, already up to 70 miles an hour in really favorable conditions in the Atlantic. So this storm could really just explode going up to a Category 4, 150 mile per hour storm by the end of the weekend and into early next week. Now the question becomes, beyond this, where does it go? It looks like it's going to pull off towards the north and east. But the question is, how close does it get to the eastern seaboard? Now, right now, I think it's going to go out to sea, but it's going to be awfully close. We're going to be watching that storm into next week. Again, back to us. Currently, though, we're watching a cold front that is, that is sweeping across the country. As it gets closer to us, though, it's going to be stalling out. So it's going to take time to really wash out some of this heat. We're going to be talking about heat today, though, for sure. 90 degrees in your afternoon. Not worried about any sort of showers, just a mix of sun and clouds. Probably sunnier than it is cloudy tonight. It's another muggy night. Last night was our first time in about a month that we didn't get below 70 degrees. I think probably a very similar story tonight. A muggy, mild night. Could be a little bit patchy fog. Now, tomorrow, we start, up, we start out at around 90 degrees, and then I think some showers and storms may break out in the late afternoon and especially the evening. Could be some downpours. A few of these can be strong to severe. Same type of setup the next few days beyond that. This afternoon, upper 80s to low 90s. Could be breaking a record, was, which was 91. We're forecasting 92 in Albany tonight. Mid to upper 60s to right around 70. Mainly clear, mild, patchy fog as possible. Here's tomorrow, upper 80s to low 90s. Starting out with more sunshine. Then there's a chance for some storms, especially west. The better chance for some storms is Friday, mid to upper 80s. A little bit cooler because there's more clouds. But we're going to remain muggy and kind of sticky even through the weekend. And then finally, Lara, I think by next week, the mid part of next week, we start to dry out and feel much more September-like. All right, sounds good.